Hi everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. We're going to see right now Fourier transform. Fourier transform is used to analyze the frequency of an image. Let's see for example an image, let me look for it, horizontal lines to understand what what is the frequency. This is just a simple image of horizontal black lines. We know that all the white pixels have value of 255 while the black pixels have value of 0 the frequency is the change of this value so from this from this white pixel to this black one it goes straight from 255 to 0. So we consider this to, uh, to be high frequency. If it was, for example, uh, another similar one, horizontal lines, but blurred one, again, we have white pixels with very value of 255 black pixels with value of 0, but in the middle, we have some different gradient of gray. So in this case, it will go from 255, always lower, so here we can have something like maybe 220, uh, 175, going slow, uh, slower to zero. In this case, there is this small change each time, so we, cons we can call this uh, to be a low frequency. This is what Fourier transform is about to give us the frequency of an image. Why is this useful? Is this useful in many ways? Once you get the frequency, you can, for example, from this frequency, delete, uh, remove, uh, for example, only the low frequency or only the high frequency to, for example, to blur the image, or it can be used for like character recognition. And I, and I will show you why. Now let's go into practice and see how this works. First, we import CV2, then we import NumPy as NP. Let's now load this image of the horizontal lines to see an example with this one. So CV2.im read horizontal lines dot jpg we're going to load it in grayscale format cv2 dot im read grayscale first let's show the image cv2 dot im show image and emg here weight key event cv2 dot weight key zero to keep the image open and cv2 dot destroy all windows when the code finish the execution. Let's run the code. And here we have the image that we were seeing before. Now we're going to apply the Fourier transform. For Fourier, we have an unpying function. So np dot f FT, which stands for fast Fourier transform, and then again FFT2, and we pass the image. Keep in mind that the image must always be in a grayscale format. Then F shift. Okay, we, we can actually already display this one. From the fast, uh, okay. Here we have the Fourier transform. There must be still some adjustment, but we can already display the result. We have the magnitude uh, magnitude spectrum, which basically is the representation uh, graphically of the Fourier transform, and it's calculated this way: twenty per mp dot log just copy what I'm typing np.abs f and 
that's all there is still an ad adjustment we need to make we already calculated the magnitude spectrum which is right now an array so let's print it first magnitude spectrum this is the result you can see 345 to 45 and, and minus infinite here we need now to adjust it in a way that we can display it on OpenCV so we can do this simple operation magnitude spectrum is equals to np dot as array and we pass again magnitude spectrum and we are just changing the type np dot u int 8 to display the images keep in mind the type must be u int 8 the type of the array we have already an array we're just changing the type and let's now display it and see what we get cv2.im show magnitude spectrum then magnitude spectrum and let's see if it works all right and here it is magnitude spectrum we can now let's see this for some normal image i have this image called girl.jpg i think girl.jpg okay and also uh, uh, keep in mind that all these files you can find in the link in the description or in my website pysource.com And here is the image of the girl and here the corresponding Fourier transform as I said it's not finished yet the Fourier transform now it's putting the high the high frequency on the left uh, on the corners and we don't want that we want to concentrate all the high frequency in the center and the more you go uh, out the lower the frequency the representation of the frequency is and that is easier to see something visual visually so we have the function after f we need to shift the f f shift is equals to np dot fft fast Fourier transform f f t shift and now we're going to shift the f that we calculate before and we're going to calculate the magnitude spectrum from f shift something is wrong f sh oh <laughs> f shift i called uh, f shift okay In this case we have kind of a cross designed so you call for example do some operation on the magnitude like on the transform and then come back to create an image we're not going to see that in this video we're going instead to see why is it so useful the first transform for example for some image recognition I have I know uh, I have a few images regarding letters you can also download this from the link in the description and let's load for example the a letter a okay letters slash a dot png actually it's a zero and let's load this one this is really interesting what you see here so here we have an a now we we can take a second a for example a1 which is different from the first one and see what we get a1 you can see that the a is different but 
Still, the magnitude spectrum is really similar to the previous one. This is an example why it's so useful, the, the Fourier transform, because analyze the letters one by one, pixel by pixel, it's much more complex for the computer to understand them than, for example, calculate this, uh, the Fourier transform and analyze this, the, the frequency. Well, I want now to show you all the, all the letters so that you can pair from the A to B and C more clearly why it's so good if we are transform. So let's okay let's use this code still actually okay I will copy this one so I will put it on the website for you and I created one just to read the letters one by one. What do I want to change right now is first to show not two images. Now we have image A of the A and then the magnitude spectrum. I want to put them together in just one image. So my EMG, EMG and magnitude is equals to uh, np.concatenate so we're going to concatenate the images we're going to use emg and magnitude spectrum that easily and then axis 1 why axis 1? we want to concatenate them horizontally so Im uh, image image and magnitude spectrum so on the x axis if we will put axis 0 will be image on the top and magnitude spectrum at the bottom. So let's see the result. EMG and magnitude. We run again the code and you see just one image and we have both together. So that now I can display all the letters that we have and we can easily see the differences. We have all the letters in one folder. So instead of typing one by one EMG and then like instead of doing EMG2 equals CV2 in read, in read and then letters A2 and so on, which is really slow operation, we can do something much faster to make load all the images at once. So we import import glob, which is already by default on Python, so you don't need to install anything else. And then we uh, so from glob we take all the names inside the folder. We take all the files of the folder. So it will be images uh, list list images is equals to glob dot i glob and we pass the path name which is letters slash asterisk asterisk means to take all the files so we print the list images and we okay let's no now we have an object I did the wrong way so let's do this way for for image title in list images so we first got the list images and now we are looping through them we print image title so we have title and path also letters a0 letters a1 and so on and we have all the path of the images so once we have all the path, instead of loading just the image at once, we the image one by one, the image it's equals to image title. So image title, so each time each loop we load a new image. We put all the 
all this code inside the loop and okay all the code instead of uh, except wait key and destroy all windows we want wait key at the end so to keep all the images open once they are already loaded there is something we need to change okay we want to show different images so we cannot have only one title each image has his own title so it's image title and image and magnitude and that should be it we run this and now let's see why it's so interesting so we have leather so a1 a2 and somewhere a0 I have on the other I have it on the other screen I'm looking for it and a0 so we see that they are these a's are all different but you can see how the magnitude spectrum is so equal it's somehow really similar but much different for example if then if we take the b so here we have b1 I mean B0 and then B B1 and B2 and B it's also different from the C so we have C0 which is this way C1 you see how the letters despite the, the fact they are quite different they are all similar between them C2 different from the E also the E is more like a cross and let's see all together so A B C okay I didn't put the D I just put the E after let's put this C that looks better hope this video it's clear and for the moment thanks for watching